Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to start using Spree Commerce for beginners in 2024. Of course, Spree Commerce is an open source e-commerce platform that offers flexibility and customization for your online store. Whether you are just starting out or looking to switch platforms, Spree Commerce has the tools you need to succeed. So let's jump into how to start using Spree Commerce and let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and open a browser. For me here, I'm using Brave for you, you can use whatever you want. Once you open that browser, basically just go to the CRL section and basically just type Spree Commerce here and hit the enter button. Once you do so, you will find yourself here. Click on this first link as example. Make sure it's not a sponsor or something like that. And you will be taken to their home screen or main screen right away. So the first thing that you'll need to do if you're new to this, just scroll down to read more information like key features. Like as example, you'll be able to have a single or multi-store, multi-currency, multi-language store, single or multi-vendor, a built-in storefront, a headless possible, a API or SDKs, as you can see, run anywhere. You'll be able to see like uh, success stories of marketplace, uh, B2B, which is business-to-business -business e commerce subscriptions. You'll be able to see here more cases or, or success store stories if you want to. Now, as you can see, you will get a customizable open source e-commerce platform, multi-store, multi-currency, multi-language, B2C, business to customer, or business to business. So if you click on get started, of course, uh, sorry. So if you click on get started, of course, you'll be able to create an account. As you can see, it starts with uh, your new Spree project. Spree is an open source headless e-commerce platform. So you can tell us in the form below what kind of projects you need to launch and we'll help you set up Spree uh, to your needs. Of course, that's if you want to get started. If you want to just see the demo, first of all, before doing anything, as you can see, you'll have access to that demo. As you can see, so you'll have access to the front end of your store. You'll be able to see everything on it. As example, here, if you go and click on it and click on login, as you can see, you'll be able to log in into an account if you have one, basically. Of course, if you don't have an account, you can simply just go and click on sign up and basically sign up with an account here. Let me just go and see and fill up like my information is in here. Then you'll have to enter a password. As an example, so I'll just go and okay, I did not enter a password, so I'll just enter like a long password a little bit so it's going to be accepted and it should be like that. And I'll click on sign up, I don't have an account, so as you can see, this is going to be my account. As an example, here you can always go and click okay, I'm already logged in. As an example, I can go and access my account, I can go and add a new address. As an example, to it, I can see my orders, I can see a lot of things on it. As an example, you can see like the shop and uh, like the shop whatever they have as example in here maybe i just want this one as example i can go and click on add to cart of course a demo i'll not be able to go and click on add to cart i can see the brand i can even start selling as example basically i'll have to fill up all those informations and i'll be able to request a vendor account so I can start using a uh, spree commerce as example as a store owner, not a seller, uh, not as a customer as example. I'll be able to just fill up those informations like starting by contacts or person information like name, surname, uh, job title, email, phone and websites are not mandatory. What is mandatory? You'll find like this small start with it. So as example, those two are not mandatory. Here, a vendor account like details, so vendor name, description, a logo is mandatory, email also, stock location and name of, of it, status example is not mandatory. And those informations like street, city, and all of that example, a zip, a phone is not mandatory, a country is mandatory, and the state is mandatory depending on the country that you choose. As an example, then click on request a vendor account and you will be able to simply start selling in here. Of course, if you go and click on contact us, you'll be able to contact them. Uh, feel free to get in touch if you have any problem or anything like that. So for me, I'll just go back to like the option or to this option. So instead of see demo as example, we see demo and see how it's working. We can simply just now click on get started to get started really. So you'll have to start by entering your name, then your email address as an example then after that of course you'll have to enter a message so i'll just type for me i am just like testing around for you of course just type whatever you're coming here uh, here to uh, create or maybe i'll just type i want to start using like spree commerce as example as my uh 
uh, platform, of course, or something like that. Then click on send. Once you do so, as you can see, thank you for message. We'll reply shortly. Of course, where do you will reply? Basically, you'll need to go to your Gmail. Mm, depending on the email that you entered, maybe if you have Outlook or something like that, go to it. For me, my email provider or the email that I provided, the email provider of it is uh, Gmail. So I'll just go to Gmail and I'll keep an eye, as example, on mails in case like I did not get uh, something on my uh, like mails of course if i did not even get something in all mails i can check the spam folder also because sometimes you'll find emails there and yeah here you'll be able to check the response that respond to you and you should be good to go of course you can always have access to demo and uh, without any problems you'll be able even to start selling here but of course not be able to really start selling because it's just a demo once you, they respond to you of course you'll be able so uh, let me just go again to spree commerce example you can go here so once they actually respond to you you'll be able to simply just start using it without any problems example so it's a multi-store multi-currency multi-language as example so you'll be able to use it for brand x brand y brand z just like an example here any currency any language any payments method any shipping method as example any third party integration accessibility compliance responsive admin panel ui so the panel ui is going to be something like that once you have access to it a nice transactional emails improved some kpis examples of faster loading pages higher Google ranking, which is a better SAO ranking, uh, more search traffic, improve the mobile conversions, reduce bounce rates, and even better social sharing. As you can see, so sharing is caring. It's prison open source or open community powered projects that anyone can, can pre contribute to. There are several ways you can help. Submit an issue, describing a bug or feature request, uh, fixing like a bug or create an example if you want to get into their community or create a new feature, creating a spree extension, upgrading old extensions to recent spree versions, and even helping others on spree slack as an example as you can see join the spree developments community as you can see all those people are in their community you can join that you can read the documentation of it if you want to join them by any chance or something like that there's even here the link to their github as example so you can have access to everything that you want and yeah that's going to be basically it you'll have to wait for the answer and you'll have access to their platform right away so that's going to be it for me today thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video so goodbye